In this video, we explain piecewise functions and some important properties of their graphs. A piecewise function is a function that is defined by different expressions in different intervals of its domain. Mathematically, it can be represented as, look at this example. To find the output for the input value of minus 2 in this function, we first need to determine which interval it belongs to based on the function definition. The function is defined by intervals, and for x values less than 0, the function piece is given by x plus 1. Therefore, we can substitute minus 2 into the expression x plus 1, and the output is minus 1. When you are looking at a graph of piecewise function, you have to be aware of that closed circle indicates that the endpoint is included in the interval. Open circle indicates that the endpoint is not included in the interval. To graph a piecewise function, first, identify the different intervals, and corresponding expressions. Then graph each expression, in its interval. Use open and closed circles appropriately for endpoints. Pause the video, and try to draw the given graph. Hope you got the correct graph. Let's go over the steps. We can identify that the function definition contains two intervals, namely, x less than or equal to 1 and x is greater than 1. The piece on x is less or equal to 1 is x plus 2, and the graph piece for x greater than 1 is x squared minus 1. Then we draw a straight line graph for x plus 2 on the x is less than or equal to 1 piece and the upward parabolic shape x squared minus 1 on the x is greater than 1 piece. The challenge is the endpoint at 1. The 1 belongs to the x less than or equal to 1 piece. To indicate this, we draw a closed circle at x equals 1 on the straight line piece. If we plug x equals 1 in x squared minus 1, we get 0, but this point does not belong to the x greater than 1 interval. As x gets close to 1, the parabolic graph keeps getting close to 0. We put an open circle at x equals 1 on the parabolic piece to indicate this. Mm -hmm. 